Hey what's up guys, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So in the last video we played as John at his new job as a ranch hand. And we basically played through the whole ranch section with all the missions. So now we are set free, we can go and pay Sadie a visit in Valentine or we can go to Blackwater to the bank and see if John can get a loan. So yeah, if you guys are ready, I think we should just get started. Okay, um, a lot of you pointed out that I would miss a certain song because I ended the video where I did. I'm really sorry about that, I did not know. I am not gonna play through all of those missions again. Although it were... I don't, I, no. To me, I don't think it would be worth it to go through that much trouble to to hear the song. I'm sorry, if I would have known, I wouldn't have ended the video there, obviously, so... My apologies. Yeah, since we are here, before we get started, I did not like how long the beard has gotten on him. So I think we should get rid of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry. <clears throat> Apparently this is the outfit he wears in Red Dead 1, the first game. And apparently the song... It is very long. Let's just do that. That looks way better. Oh, no, I didn't know. I thought I could enter. Well, he wears the hat. We can't tell. I think I said that I wanted to go and visit Sadie first, but as some of you also pointed out, it would probably make more sense story-wise to go to the bank first. So let's do that and then we can go visit Sadie and potentially go and say hi to Hamish. So that is the plan for today, at least so far, and then we'll see what else we get up to. Some of you have also very kindly suggested a few locations that I could go and visit. I don't know if we'll do that in this video, but we'll see. Oh! Please don't hey, hey. delay me any further. I'm just a homesteader looking for a patch. I... Hold on a minute. Chase your tail! We're talking here. I'm here under duress, sir. Help me! Dro <laughs> oh, no. ah. Dear me! Are they dead? Sir? <laughs> I was alone in these parts and much in need of a friend. Thank you. You'll find the rest of the folks in these parts more welcoming, I hope. I won't let this encounter be a deterrent. I mean to settle somewhere here. Good luck. Hmm. Well, he's leaving with the other guy. <laughs> Guess we could. No, 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 no. Oh, it's just oregano. Oh, well, let's pick it then. That would be a great way to start off the video by eating something poisonous. Thank you, kind. You're a good girl now. Keep going, girl. You're okay. I'm wondering, should we... How much... Okay, we have a few things. Well done, girl. I don't know how much of Arthur's stuff we have, because we did get his satchel, so I would... Assume... We got majority, but I am not sure. Got mining. Oh, 
Whoa, easy. Like, I know we've been here before, but I just... Like, the scenery just never fails to amaze me. It's It looks so good. <gasps> Doc! Morning, partner. Sir! That was a little bit aggressive. Hey, All right, little fella. I don't like how it's a two-star pelt bordy color. Border collie, sorry. Bordy? For what? <laughs> sorry. As if I would want to kill the dog. Oh, snake! Relax. I mean, I would have the same reaction, so I don't blame... What is the name of our horse? Hold on. I like the name in English. Don't get me wrong. No Tino shade to all the Rachels out there. The thing is, if you were to say Rachel in Danish or pronounce it in Danish, it would be Rakel. Rakel. I don't know. It's to me just in Danish. It's, it's just a, a name you you kind of want to spit out of your mouth. I don't know. To exp I don't. I don't like saying it, so... It's probably just me. So I, I apologize to all the Rachels out there. It's just in Danish, it's, it's just not a pretty name in my ears. But you know, as a friend of... Uh, uh, as a friend of fans, <laughs> as a fan of friends, <laughs> I um, I do also, you know, kind of love the name. Whoa now! Hello? If I wanted your company, I wouldn't be set up out here. I'm sorry. I'll just leave. You just never know. Some people are actually friendly. I want to sit by the campfire and tell stories, so... There's that. Wait, isn't there... A legendary fish in this pond? No? Really? I guess this would all be marked on our map. And we have been here with Arthur. Oh, well no. then, never mind. <laughs> never mind then. I don't know why that was a thought. I just was like, it's a sea. It's a pond. There's gotta be a fish in there. Hey, partner. Oh wow. Now, what kind of pond, river, lake is this? This is a lake, okay. Fishies. Oh, go away. Got some. Come on.
that looks like one hell of a fish. You kidding me? Yes. <laughs> Did we get it? Oh, that's a big one. Holy guacamole. Legendary smallmouth bat. That oh. 10 kilos? Well, holy weighs more than that, but still. Looks Great, I'm keeping you. Holly's like 14 and a half kilo. All right, girl. Well, then I guess we should go and mail it. Can we? Should we do that in strawberry? Let's do that. Just look at its face. That's a big eye. Gosh. Well then, I am happy <laughs> getting that first try. I guess that's something we could, I wouldn't say prioritize, but if we are in the area where there is a legendary fish, we might as well see if we can just catch it. I mean, this one was quite easy for some reason. Did not take long at all. So. You there? You a traveler? Well, we ain't from around here neither. We're from Laramie. The range out here is real inhospitable. You Could see, you? we're paid to make it that way. Oh, uh, dead man. Could you, John, aim the weapon. There you go. Oh, he's. <laughs> it was stuck in the syrup. <laughs> My goodness. Please tell me you don't care. I don't have new friends on the road. Get lost. All right. Jesus. You're a good filly. It's a filly. <laughs> There's another horse? Wait. Why? Hello. Hi. They shot at me first. Okay. Potentially also stop by like a stable and pick up a few goodies for Rachel. So has this been John's horse? That is a stupid question. No, it's not Cam. His horse got shot. What do you think you're doing? Just like Kinoa. Sorry, that was a brain fart moment. I don't know what I was thinking. Hang in there, girl. <sighs> well, I guess we're going this way then. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know, but I did you not see my crash? I am so sorry, Rachel. You're good, bro. Yeah, you're 
Oh my god. <laughs> Great story. Light up, strawberry. Do I need to bring it? I don't remember. Excuse me, sir. Can you mail this for me? <laughs> I guess I don't. I think it should be on my horse. If I drop it, it's probably not gonna register that I have it. Whoop. So odd. Hey there. You Hector? That's me. I've been told you're a discouraged man. Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. Mm. All right. In that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that's not what I was fishing for. <laughs> there we go. Four of 13. Okay, still have a lot. Right here for you All when right. you're ready. Suit yourself. No, thank you, Hector. Another time. Come on, lady. We could do one in the future. Because we did get a tip for Arthur, but we never ended up doing it. Oh, we need to go to the stable. It's not really a detour. It's on the way. Just what is your problem? You got a, you got a problem, problem. You best No, you can just move or walk on the side so there's room for others. Thank you. Well, I do like how the mane and tail is. I think so someone pointed out that I could have the tail braided, but a few careful trims and this horse will look just fine. The thing is, I don't like it when it's braided like that. It needs to be like a fish fish tail braid instead, because um. Since the horse uses its tail to get a rid uh, to get rid of flies and stuff like that, if you braid it like that and have it like that, it's gonna take a lot of the function away from the tail. So I don't like to have it like that. This little um, nerdy tip, not tip, but fact. Provisions. All right, you bet. Gotta remember, I don't have as much money as Arthur did. Maybe we should just it's all yours. get a horse reviver in case things keep going as Take care of that nag. Come back and see me. as they are. <laughs> all right, Ansel. Here we come. I am so excited to go to Blackwater because we haven't been there before. So that part of the map is like finally unlocked, which is very exciting. More to explore. More to see. Be good.
Although that we have seen with Arthur. Like this whole area. Like you know hey, weather, ain't it? Uh, excuse me. I'm very tempted to steal the horse, but John needs to have his own Kinoa. The hunt is over. Kill him. Breathe, girl. Excuse me. Come on. Say Skinner, Skinner Brothers. Easy. All right, lots of horses here. One of them was very pretty. That one. That one. Go after that one. Slow down. It's okay. No, no, John. No. In the name of the horsey law, don't go any further. Can I not stop? Do we be John? Oh, it's right there. Why do you keep going? I can't calm it down. Stop. <laughs> no! No, no, no! What, where are you going? Where the... Come back! Come back! Come back! I swear, the horses in this game hates me. And they're gone. Well. Guess it's... I was not allowed to get that one. The one that got away. Well, I guess this is Blackwater. An upcoming town. This pretty kind of reminds me of some architecture you could see in Denmark as well. Very modern. For its time. Mister, have we got business I don't know about? I don't know. I guess this is like a new Saint Denis upcoming. Really, in our situation. Hey, come on, move it. Hello. Hello. Hey. Stop the bank. Hey, I'm on a tight schedule. 
thought it would be more of a grand building. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you kindly. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. All right. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Good job, John. Well, we'll, be here when you need it. we'll soon be in debt. <laughs> Exciting times. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Gavin's friend. Greetings, there you go. <laughs> hey, partner. Howdy. Well, now I've seen everything. I know. Gavin's friend. I, I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. What's wrong with you? Somebody help me. Gav? Sir! Gavin's friend! I've lost my friend! Somebody help me, please! Well, you don't want to talk to me. I tell you, this place is cursed. Well then, that's great. Hey, mister. I'm... I'm looking for my friend. And Gavin! Hey, for Gavin. Gavin! Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. You bloody is. <laughs> I can't, um, I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I've wasted my life. I've wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Kevin. Good luck. Kevin. Oh. I am so oh, worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? So I don't know if I've talked about it before, but some of you pointed out or asked if you could find Gavin and you can't. And there is like speculations if he is like mentally ill or something. And he it's like the dark circles around his eyes and, and stuff like that. It, it looks like he doesn't get much sleep. Should we check out the saloon in here? This is just 
is just too bad. It is. <laughs> is that a spider web hanging from Gentlemen. the car? Evening. Hi, mister. That jolted me. It's very cozy. I'm standing. I like it. We'll be back here. Nobody's seen hide nor hair of him. Do you buy the newspaper? Want a paper? Oh, we've missed a lot. Oh my god. Uh. You like this one? Okay, we'll have to read those. See what the's been going on in the world. Look at the sun setting. Fishmonger. Fishmonger? Fresh fish. Do we have some houses up here? Or? My husband would be turning in this grave if he saw the state of the docks. Smugglers and horrors taking over. Mm. Oh. The houses are amazing. <sighs> what I wouldn't give. Sir! Evening. You keep safe now. Oh. I like it here. And we're gonna have a farm nearby? John, you're gonna be living the life. Father Abraham's cane sugar and maple sh sugar Martin's getting syrup. me a necklace. Real silver, he told me. Huh? Well, aren't you lucky? Uh, mister. Uh, Hi there, y'all. Buenas tardes. We have a blacksmith. And that's the stables. Is there horses is available? Do we have a look? I could imagine that they would have some new ones. Hey, good looking horse there. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. <laughs> No, that's a pretty one. Ooh. That's a female too, civil double pinto. Let's get this over with. I actually also like this one. 
They're all females. What a win. <laughs> See, the only thing with the Rabian is I don't know. I, I don't know. If, I don't like how small they are. But that is a pretty one. Oh, John. Oh, John. If we're done with that. We need to find around $900 somewhere. Because we're going to need all of them. Or the, at least the Missouri, Missouri Fox Trotter. Because that's a beaut. Hey there! Get your asses back to work, you hear? <laughs> Mister? Hello. Oh. Is there more for us to. Big Mill Construction. I will definitely be back here. Lumber dealer. Okay. You! Hey! Mister. Rooms, bar, and restaurant. Alright. Uh, what does the mission say? Where are we going? Over here. There are squatters at Beecher's Hope that you may... That may need to be moved on. Okay, so we're actually going to go see the property that we are going to buy. Or that we're about buying. Stop! I saw something. Something's available. Over here. Ah. Uh, uh, okay. So that was the mission that we kind of unlocked with Arthur, but that I tried to go back there to see if there was a stranger mission, and the only that one is only available at night time. Oh, you see. You see. Well. At least then we have a few things to do around here, not just uh, the mission with... What is his name? Just slipped my mind. The veteran. Hamish. Hey, there we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Good job. You nailed the job. Good job, Rachel. We have the church. See, the thing is, I would kind of want to wait until it's morning. So can we set up a camp? Just give John some rest. It might be weird, but I just like seeing everything in natural daylight. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. John, you should have the farm here. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Oh my god. So pretty. Well, I really hope you're gonna be happy here, John. You can even see the, the grass is like bent after we've been there. I love it. <laughs> Can I we come got live? You now, you piece Whoa, of shit. E Excuse me. Easy. I want his skill. Get him. I got you first. <gasps> this man shall drink my. We are too fucking bastards. There was another one. There you are! No, that's not the one. There it is. Can we catch that one? 
guess we're not allowed to get those. There, catch you. Relax, my friend. Stay calm, friend. Please. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Come, 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 come. Oh, come on. It's fine. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Calm down. It's okay. Just small walkies. Easy, girl. Mm -hmm. There, there, girl. Here it is. You're so pretty. Good work. I got it! <laughs> Who's a good girl? Well, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't have. Wait, maybe I do. That's great! <laughs> it is a bit small, but Yes, Missy. Come on, Rachel. All right there. Over here. It's just nice to have a backup. Just in case something should happen to the other one. Is that it? The little house? Dog? Hey, hey, easy. No. Oh, it's not a dog. Can Hello, I sir. Help you, friend? Yes, this is my house. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Well, he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner! Looks like you made your decision then, partner! I... I'm so sorry, I should have I did not want to give them money. I did not necessarily want to kill them either. But we don't have that much money. But then again, I don't know how much money he would have given them. Because I picked the bad. And the bad boy. I'm ah, indeed not you. a good girl. The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. 
Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. But they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. <gasps> well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. What you doing here? I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> His horse got a mustache. What the hell is happening there? I'm ready, Marston. Come on. I've never seen a horse having hair out of its nose. Mustache? Sure. But out of the nose? Okay, Missy. Follow me. What are you feeding that poor thing, Uncle? Hey, did you do that? Is he gonna... Well, I wouldn't say help us out, because it's Uncle. But is he actually gonna... Oh. Come with. On the music. Where are we headed? West. West? Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you, and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Oh, uncle. You could tell that his coming might have stung a little bit. And I, I get it. It's Uncle. He's here. It's gonna be great company. <laughs> or something. Oh my god. I 
I know this place is a dump right now, but I see so much potential. A lot of potential. And it's a big lot. If we go by the fencing. Look, she's just waiting for us. What a good girl. This is it. Look at her. Home sweet home. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, Yeehaw. you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. <laughs> Look at all them deers. Home of... What did that say? Home of the... Gen gentry? I don't know. Before I can purchase Beecher's Hope, John must inspect the land and move on any illegal tenants. Back in Blackwater, he runs into an old friend. Well then. Me again. All right, now this is our base. Very nice. Okay. Um. Now, they did talk about alone. How do we keep track of that? Do we have anything in our journal? I'm not much of a ranger, but I can still give a big mouth a good smack. Abigail still seems to despise me. Jack ain't sure, but I reckon he ain't nothing too keen. She went and left me. Gave me enough warning, I suppose. She weren't wrong. I'd leave me if I could. What now? No son, no woman. And a no good ranger on a no good range. These rich bastards, these... Laramies? Want old Gettys dead. If I had a brain, I'd go work for them. But I kind of like Gettys. That's all. Okay. I'm guessing we have to go to Sadie. Before we can continue anything down here. Blow it. Which is fine by me, because then we can also... Go and have a little look over in this area. I guess we'll just have to make our way over to Sadie. Although, is there... Another day on this earth, eh? Almost like the good old days. Oh. Hey, Uncle. Hey, how's it going? I ain't buzzard food yet. Well, good. Okay. Take care. You too. Yeah, I guess they're just sleeping in here. Can't really do much else. All right. 
Oh, there's like a pack of wild horses over here. Run free. Easy now. Uh. Hello? Christ, man. What'd you get yourself into? Can we... Stop. Pop. Horsey. A good girl now. Can I? It's quite far into town. Otherwise, I would have followed him. <laughs> Could do that. It's not like we got anything else to do. <laughs> I don't even know if it's gonna go into the town. It's not quite far. Yeah, ain't no way. No. I'm not that curious. I'm sorry. I just wanted to see if people are gonna have like a reaction. Today's not the day. We got stuff to do. We're a busy man. We gotta loan at the bank now, so. That was not my fault. Okay, it's time to explore. Venture out into the world. It's John Marston. Let's see, I think we're gonna go by a train station on our way there although I don't know if that's I, I I have not written down the locations but I I know where I can find them in case I, I want to to go for those location like directly in an episode but I've not written them down so far but we are gonna go past the station so it could you know have a small stop and see if If there's anything interesting there. Slow now. Ooh, look at this. I love that. Please don't do that. Rachel. Calm down. At least you jumped it this time instead of just smashing into it. station here. I don't think this was one of the locations I could go or should was recommended to go to, but might as well just check since we're going right past it. Howdy there. Welcome. You're real helpful, thank you. Is that sarcastic, John? He didn't help you with anything. Oh, look at that. He 
You going for a walk? Buddy. It's cute. Okay, I think we might be getting getting or going close to a fish location. So let's stop by the, that first. See if we can be just as lucky this time. Got a guy over there that's searching for gold. Not really gonna do much with those encounters anymore because we we've experienced those before. Well, technically not as John, so I don't know if the interaction is gonna be different. He's got a Dutch warm blood. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> Good luck. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. I guess not. I know that I think they usually find gold when they when they look not want to steal. It should be here. I'm wondering if we should go over onto the other side. If that's like the location they want us to stand. We'll see. So what do we... Is this a lake or a river? The Coda River. Okay. Let's get a river. How about leader. this? Let's give it a whirl. don't think that's it. Oh, that looks way too small. Whoa! It's you! <laughs> it, it. Sorry, but you're coming. <laughs> Legendary. Amazing. We should go by the station first here in Valentine and mail them. We're on a roll today. Look at us catching all the fish today. I'm also getting very excited to go and see Sadie. I hope she's doing good. I really do. Oh, should we go up this way? It's gonna be like seeing a good old friend. And uncle was also a very, very nice surprise. I doubt we'll... What 
what it's called? Reunite with everyone? Or have missions with everyone, I guess I should say. We'll see. There you go. I don't know how long the, that they would make the epilogue, and we've already done quite a few uh, missions. At least uh, range You're related. Mister, hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I, if I talk to you? Doesn't he have a different mind? And sometimes they don't mind, and ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh, I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day, but you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa. I'm... <laughs> I got a woman. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk, but most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only, most folk find me creepy and, and strange. Uh, which ain't nice. I uh, guess not. You just want someone to talk What's to. your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you used to know a fella. A bit like you. A few years back, crazy kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. Is it Arthur? What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much, neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. The good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad, and it's hard to say quite what he was in the end. He was so, a very good man. Sure, that's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. It's good talking to you again, Mickey. Ooh. Did not expect that today. Okay. Let me just mail. Howdy. Nice to see you. The fish and what do you got for me today? See you okay. around. Have a look around. Secret card? Oh, nice. Has that always been? Oh. Oh, I like that. I would love like a poster like that. It's really cool. Mm. Sir. Is there new cigarette bundles? Miss? Cigarette card but cigarette card bundles. Ooh. How you doing, friend? Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. 
<laughs> but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I'm right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. And Dutch? <laughs> he can go to hell. I ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Last oh, call. No. Oh, anyway, John, I better get on my train. It's really lovely seeing you. Oh, here. It's for you. <sighs> Thank can you. Can I read her book? Take care now. Bye. Lady of the Manor. Wait. God damn it. We went through one video without crying and here we are again. <laughs> yeah, a lot of you from the previous video, I know it was uploaded like quite soon after, you know, everything with Arthur happened, but from when I recorded the last part of the main story and to playing as, as John, I think almost two weeks um, went by. So I did have quite a lot of time to, you know, to process <laughs> what happened. So I didn't play it right after and was fine. It, uh, I'm obviously still not fine. I'm still crying, just them mentioning him and the way they talk about him yeah it's um it's still a a fresh wound definitely okay makeup is not ruined let's continue so i'm guessing that valentine station was one of the locations i should uh, i should visit but that's one of the list, I guess. Okay. Please. You can mention Arthur, but please. Be nice to me. Be kind, game. Stop, stop. Is that her horse? I don't... Oh lord, you need a brush. Oh no, no. Good, Good girl. brush. Here we go. That should be good. Hmm. Beef chili, lamb's fry, rest of mutton, ordered bar. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. You asked her. John Marston. Sadie it's Adler. Good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a 
real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <coughs> well, it's legal, I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. It was a horse. New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pen. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him, oh, I know he's what we said gonna. We'd do. That ain't changed. I got goosebumps. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. So my car. Please tell me we're gonna hunt his ass down. Give him what he deserves. Good beating. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. You hit him that way. All right. I'll meet you in a bit. Ask about Nathan Kirk in the town. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? I'm afraid I don't know. Fair enough. Hello. You seen a You seen a bald New Sorry. Yorker name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. Hey, we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. So in here? Oh, Hector? Excuse me, friend. I'm looking for a Nathan Kirk, fellow from New York. Got any mail for him? Kirk? Kirk. No, not so as I would remember. Curly, I think. Oh, she's a woman. <laughs> Ask in the Welcome Center. Most tourists check in there. Okay, thank you. All right. Welcome Center. Hey, Sadie. There you are. He's staying in the welcome center. Oh. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. 
Can I ask him? You, uh, you seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. You don't seem to have a care in the world. In room three. Up here? One. Two. Three. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just... Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Stairs. No, I can just jump on. Oh! I'm a poor horse's bag from the roof. Big fish. I don't deserve this treatment. Might as well stop squirming. I got him. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Sadie, I got him. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Please, no! What a way to not take responsibilities for our action. I don't go out all day. Can you put him up here? Sorry. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make him happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. Yay. Amazing. That was a lot of fun. Being almost like the good times. Good old times. All right, girl. I see we have a story mission available with Uncle. Uncle has some information for you. Bare knuckle friendships. All right. Well, I would like to go and do the mission with Hamish. We have quite a long way to go. I might fast travel to... What is it called? Emerald Range, just because it's a lot closer. If we can fast travel as John, I hope we can. If not, then fair enough. We can, okay. The Chikri. I think Emerald Range is our best bet. I'm not sure. There could be something that's closer, but I... 
I don't have the best feeling <laughs> of the map. Is that a horse shit? <laughs> it's the sun. Here we are. Wait, can I- the lady of the manor? I can actually read this. Well, some of it. Okay, let's just read a little bit. Wait. Did you lose your dog? Why are you hollering, big guy? Hey, fella, you seen a dog around? She went and got herself lost. Poor thing's been gone for hours. Any chance you could help me find her, please? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. I'll keep a lookout. Oh, thanks a ton, mister. Poor girl must sure be hungry about now. As long She's as you promise it's not a lion. Dog. I'll be under that big tree near the edge of town if you find her. Thanks for this. Searched the ranch for the missing dog. Do we need to search in buildings? Hmm. I was like, it's up on the roof. Uh, now that we're here, we could see if we could sell some of our things just to have more money. I've seen you before. Who told you about me? Gold pendant necklace can be sold. Sell it. Sold. Just in crafting, then let's save it. A large emerald, a gift from Margaret, the animal handler. Native American, right? You see, there's a lot of things where I'm like, I, I'm not ready to sell that. Can be sold to a fence. Building a pocket watch. Sell that. Oh, the meteorite. Let's sell that. See, I guess it comes in handy now. We didn't sell all of the stuff when we were playing as Arthur. and crafting. Or I'm guessing we had all of this as Arthur as well. Oh. Well, you're gonna let me close up or what? Well, Sorry. what you see is what you get. Hmm. Let's go find this dog. Should be on the range. That's a cat. Hey, fella. How do, sir? Dog! You are. Come on. Come get it. You scared? Oh no no! Arthur, Ar Ar John. 
How dare you? Follow me, girl. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. Come on, pupper. What's wrong? Jeez. You okay? Okay, pupper. Hello, sir. I did. Is she okay? She looks so sad. Come on, you dumb dog. Hear me? You don't get here right now. I swear I'll stop on your paws. Hey, where are you going? Get back here, damn it! You get back here! Don't make me chase you! Hope that map bites. You want dinner tonight? You get back here right now! It was hiding from him. Hello? Let's try this again. Hello. Are you deaf? I just said hello. <laughs> I am so tempted to hurt him. But he didn't hurt the dog. I hope not. He's just not very nice to it. going on here hey do you want to ride I can take you wherever you need to go mister hey partner oh okay this looks like there's something going on here but It looked busy. Okay. We should also get some more food for John and go hunting. You should buy this instead. Whoa, easy. Can we go in there? Check the fireplace. This is so nice. A carpet. I buy it. That is so cute. Obviously, you would need like a let's go, girl. A barn, but there's a lot of land here as well. The house is adorable. <coughs> Guessing it's a little bit out, out of our price range. Good girl. There's a girl. There's 
a little house here. Looks like we can go in. Hey, hey, easy. Being a bad boy. I've got a lot of stuff. A little bit on itch because I feel um, like a very bad person. No one does. I'm always a little bit worried to enter houses because um, you just don't know what you're gonna find or who. so we could get some meat for John. Partner? You met him before. The fire's warm. 
You're welcome to share it with me. I stole his ducks. Thank you. You trust me then? I do. Sometimes we must trust each other, even when we don't know each other. Or else we walk this life alone. For all I know, you're a thief and a killer, but I rely on my instincts to tell me otherwise. Hmm. Yes, I see in your eyes that you're not a bad man. Like I was riding through the heartlands the other day, and caught through someone's land. Looked like an old pig farm. When a couple called me over from the house. Very nice man and woman. Very friendly. You would think this is fine, you know? No. <laughs> and they keep uh, saying that a traveler like me deserves some rest and refreshment, inviting me to stay for dinner. I was tired and I was hungry, but ni corazonada. The feeling in my gut said no. Yeah, that's good. I don't know why, but I trusted it. That's good. Then the very next day, a man warns me to stay away from that place. So I live by my instincts. I'm also real fast with a gun, which helps me when the instincts fail me. That's good. Well, I've sat long enough. You rest here as long as you need. Appreciate it. We could try and go by the pig farm as John. However, I am still not gonna eat whatever she's cooking in that pot because just no. Wait, where's the pig farm? That is here. Right there. Yeah. Hmm. Could do that. Not now. I want to go see Hamish. I saw the chimney. Well, they've got clothes hanging. to her. She's been dead a long time. A note. Letter to Martha from Garfield, August seventeenth, eighteen sixty four. Arthur died in eighteen ninety nine, like thirty five years ago. 
My dearest Martha, I miss you so much. Life makes sense when we are together. This war no longer makes sense to me. When I signed up, oh, it seems like a thousand lifetimes ago. Everything seemed so simple. We were going to express our rights as states to do as we got them well pleased and hang whatever any fools in the north told us. I cannot believe now that this was a... I can not believe now that this was a principle I would die for, and yet it is a principle I have seen so many men I grew up with be slaughtered for. That and their own stupid pride. We Southerners are such proud fools. Now I can only... Now I'm only proud about one thing, the love I share with you. You, a Yankee. Everything I'm supposed to hate and now love so dear. How can you love me back when I'm such a fool? I cannot wait for this war to end. I thought many times about running away, but General Harish has taken to su shooting deserters. I'm still too proud to allow f to allow for that. It seems we are heading towards an enemy camp in Scarlet Meadows for the la for one last battle. We have almost no chance of winning. Our moral is almost entirely spent, and the Yankees are far too strong. But after the accusations of Cowardice, cow, cow, something leveled against General Harish for his failure to support General Quinn last month and all that drama. He seems hell bent on a fight. I even overheard Mayor Smith complaining in the officers' mess about General Harish. None of his junior junior officers trust him very much anymore. I hope I do not die. Not because I care to fix for myself, but because the sadness it would bring to you. I miss you. Yours, Garfield. Did she off herself or what happened? I could imagine that maybe she would have gotten some bad news or something. Come on then. Not too sure. That was really sad. I guess she could have also just died from age or something? I'm not sure. But that letter was sent a very long time ago. I would assume we are in the 1900. Nineteenth century, is that what we call it? Oh, you so pretty. Now, I really hope that this is going to be good. Since you guys insisted on me waiting to do this mission. Hello, sir. And who might you be? A caller. John Marston. Uh, years ago, a friend of mine helped you retrieve your horse. You became friends? 
Oh, yeah, Arthur. Yeah. How is he? Uh, sorry to say, he passed soon after that. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah. I read about you in his journal. Been calling in on folks. Well, I'm grateful I'm one of them. Uh, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Arthur caught that. Huh, did he? And he killed that with his hands. That's quite something. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. Boar? Oh, hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Um. Whoa, big. Peppa, come back. Get back here. Uh oh. I'm happy he wanted to show us Damn it. what he did with Arthur. Search the area for signs of the boar. Go this way. Come on. Yep, I see him too. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. And fast too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What do we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right. And down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view. Okay. Let's see. We can find him. Head up. Did it kill a wolf? What's that? Ain't no way. Hey, Mish. You're a good filly. <laughs> hey, Mish. Chloe. Shit. He's after him. <gasps> nope. Hey, Mish. Oh, 
these don't even be heard. Jesus, no! Thrown and a bastard how got me. Uh, take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, uh, but he's strong. <laughs> hey, Mish. Oh, you son of a bitch. Son of a... Shit. We got him, old man. It's okay, Buell. Sorry, Hamish. We can't skim it. I don't want to loot it. It's okay, Bill. It's okay. Who's a good boy? Yeah. Hey, boy. Good horse. Yeah. We'll take care of you. Don't worry. Here we go. Don't worry. Come on, Bill. Let's go. Okay, Rachel. We gotta go to the stables. There we go. I know we're probably gonna end up losing our ho- I- our hose. <laughs> A horse at the ranch, but that's whatever. Um, Let's go to the stable and then Maybe it'll be nighttime, and then we can go and do the, the side mission here. Why does everyone die in this game? I don't like it. Hamish deserved so much better than that. I guess that is the the risk you take when you go hunting for the wildlife that he was I'm guessing we're gonna go past the railroad Look how far! Is it finished? Look at that! I would assume Whoa, it's finished. Easy. That's cool. They actually did it. With a little bit of help of Arthur. I wonder if Arthur doesn't help them out, do they still finish the the tracks? Made to the stables. Hello there. That horse doing all right? 
I'm happy to stable that for you. If you ain't got papers, I can't give you much. I've been burned before. Good. Come back soon. That's a good horn. It sure is. Be proud of yourself. Okay. What time is it in the game? I wonder. We do have... There was a fish over here. That's quite close that we could go and catch just in here as well. That's probably closer. Let's go and, <laughs> and use our time instead of just going to sleep. I'm also very... I wouldn't say scared, but worried about setting up camp in this area because of the Murphys. Murphys? Murphys? Whatever. So yeah, just to Come on, fella. be on the safe side. Mister? You'll be alright, mister. I think I've tried to fish for the fish over here before, but with no luck. What is the path? Definitely not this way. I'm sorry, John! Don't die, don't die, don't die! Uh oh. Nice. go okay where is it exactly there do we need to be out on a boat or something I think that's the fish right there We stand here. Let's give it a go. Fishy. We have the right one. No. Come on. Oh, come on, you're here. There we go. Beautiful. Shit, yes. Shit, yes. <laughs> Is that it? It's gotta be. We're three for three today. Can't put you back. What is going on? Okay, let's see if we can. Uh oh. Pick it up.
Please be good. John! <laughs> oh, what you... You? What are you doing here? I didn't call you. <laughs> what is going on with your legs? All right. Well, we did it. <laughs> and there should be a place we could mail it right over here. So. We're on a roll. Yeah, welcome. Oh, you do not look too good. What's going out then? Here we go. Yeah. All right now. That's another one of the list. Let's uh, make our way over here and then we'll see what time. It is once we get there and then we're quite close to Butcher's Creek. I think this video is going to be quite long. We're not going to be able to do Uncle's mission. But that's fine by me by just, you know, tying up some loose ends here. That we didn't get to do with Arthur. What's this? Madame Moselle's house? I haven't had not noticed this before. If we female fertile fertility statue. Can't go in. If we would have played as Arthur, would she have been alive? What do we need a fertility statue for? Let's go, boy. This was where we lent the money. We go in. Oh, he's taken off. No, I think her husband died and then we gave her money so she could leave with her son. Starting to get late. Big beads. Big beads. Hey, hey, easy. Oh, 
Oh no, there's a bridge over there. Let's do that instead. Seen her before. Shoot that lock. Well, you saved me the trouble, Mister. Sorry. Well, that was not worth it. <laughs> I really wish there was a way that probably. Might be a way to just shoot the lock to let them out. Okay, we have the waterfall. I think we need to go on the other side. Uh oh, they're still coming. I'm sorry, Bill. Mission might not even be available. Easy there. I mean, we could just maybe go out standing in the boat. And then fish from here. That is a lake. How's about this? Here we go. See if we have any luck here. <laughs> or just as much luck, I guess I should say. Not much luck there. We'll be over here. Come on. Just try closer over here because we are not having like any luck whatsoever. There's fish over there as well. Can I see? don't really see anything that looks like a...
a legendary fish. I don't know. I guess it's only the legendary fish that gets hooked on the special lure. Is struggling a lot. That was a very long time. Easy does it. Stop. Looks right. Jesus, what the hell are you? Nice perch. That is freaking ugly. Can't put you back. But it's the right one. That took a long time. Probably a little bit too long. Oh, we can still make it, maybe. Raising for my life to make it. Here we go. <laughs> the wisdom of the elders. Oh, be gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares, not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking about? The demons have us by the throat, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness, it's, it's everywhere. The, he was right. What are you talking about? They come in Help! darkness. Somebody, please. Help! They're oh, coming. Oh, Search for the demons. Stay yeah. inside. Keep your door shut. Uh oh. You're safe now. They have rabies? I'll see if there's any more of them. Oh, thank you, brother. Shit, there's more, all right. Okay, I just want to switch the head. Oh, no. Help! 
Help us! <laughs> I hear more. Shit! Hold on! I die here! Jesus Christ! That was... Okay, let me just not use the shotgun. You too. Back to the village. I'll keep these dogs at bay. Come up here this time. It ain't demons, just dogs gone crazy. It ain't nice. Get yourselves home. No, no, no. He said, he said they would come in many forms. <laughs> And he, and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? Just sick dogs, hydrophobia, or some other poison. He said we were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, mister. You can get yourself a gun. Shoot any sick animals you see. Life will be just fine. The darkness has come for us. <laughs> he was right. Who was right? I was. Oh. I shall save them. Mm -hmm. And who are you? There'll be no more four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. I just saved them. There were no curse, just... Sick dogs. Dark charms. Possess the woods, I told you. He, he, did, he told me he did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That? Don't touch he it. He found the curse! I found it. So. The woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. The oh, curse! Yet the woods are also full of demons. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? He never lied to me. Mm. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So you're saying someone destroys all the charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. I can see that. It's impossible. <laughs> there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He Is would come, like and he would help, yeah. and he would laugh. Uh, yeah, you, you told us. It's a cult in the making. Cult leader in the making. The story of the curse charms near Butcher Creek. Now? Oh yeah, we need to go over here. All right, guys, I am, however, gonna go ahead and end this part here. So obviously in the next video, we are gonna go and destroy the charm. So we'll probably do that in the beginning and then we will maybe go and see what uncle, what kind of information he, he got for us. And potentially I could check the list that one of you guys made just to see if there's any locations in the nearby area that I should go and check out. I could imagine that a lot of the story is going to be taking place near Blackwater since, you know, we did buy the farm. So since we are in the area, I could check if there is anything and if there is any legendary fish or something like that that we should go and hunt or legendary animals in this area that could be relevant for us. So yeah, I think that is a plan. Again, I am so sorry for where I left it in the previous video. If I would have known there would have been like a a song kind of uh, like as we rode out from Pronghorn Ranch, I would not have end ended the video there, but I did not catch on. I was just like, okay, this is a good place to stop. We're free. Now we can kind of just go and do whatever we want. 
So I'm really sorry about that. It is what it is. If I one day do feel like it, I do have a save file that was right after after the ending of part 33, 33 with the whole Arthur thing. Um, so if one day I feel like it, I could go back and do it. It's just to to go through like two hours of gameplay before I could go and record for like three hours. It would take quite a long time. So that is for another day. I Again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so far, I really am just enjoying the epilogue. There's still a lot to do, and I really love how, even though it hurts that, you know, we can go and catch up with old friends and meet NPCs that have interacted with Arthur, and then they're like, oh, there's this guy a few years ago, and, and all that. And I'm also really happy with the Hamish mission, where he's like, I... Arthur did this with me and did that with me and he killed this wolf with his bare hands and and all that. That was really, really nice. I just wish that, you know, Hamish could have lived. That was also just a brutal way to go. Yeah, I am excited to play more. It's been so nice to see Sadie and Uncle and Mary Beth today. And I hope we can find some more, potentially. And yeah, it's just... Nice, and I, I do miss the other guys from the camp because a lot of them left in the middle of all the craziness, which I do not blame them for at all. I'm just happy that they got out and to see that they're doing well, that Mary Beth is a writer and Sadie is doing <laughs> the usual and uncle is just uncle. And yeah, I'm so far it, the epilogue is really, really good. And maybe, maybe, not that I want to see Micah, but... I hope that we can somewhat like track him down and give him a piece of our mind, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream over on Twitch and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you'd like to support my channel even more, you can check out the links in the description down below. That is all for me for now. So bye and take care.